Hey there Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel. That feels weird. I haven't actually filmed in a month. Today we have another exciting video. But seriously, today is one of my favourites because it's my What I Got For Christmas haul. It's just amazing. I love doing them because Christmas is a time of festivities. It is not about presents at all, but we all enjoy the presents, let's be honest. And one of my favourite things to do at Christmas is to pile up any presents that I do get, rearrange the pile like for about a week and show people if they do come over just because I'm excited. And now I have this platform, I'm able to show a lot more people than I normally would. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. This year is going to be full of new content similar to last year's but I'm sure it's going to be even better. Hit that notifications bell and make sure to comment and like if you do enjoy the video. So what I did last year I did manage to show you everything. This year I thought mm, maybe don't need to show you quite as much and also I needed to put things away and if I start putting things away then it's very difficult for me to get everything back out again. So I wrote a list before I put the items away of what I got or what items I wanted to show you and now I've gone and fetched those things and I can do this proper little video. It's like the 9th of January, the Christmas festivities have ended, the Christmas tree's away, my house is clean, I'm back to work. If you've been on my channel for quite a while now, you'll probably know that I have a lot of hobbies. So you may think that maybe just Harry Potter is my hobby if you are new around here, but honestly I have a lot. Harry Potter is the focus of my channel, but in real life, I have a lot of things floating around in my head. I get home after a busy day and I'm like, what should I dive into today? I'm pretty much never bored because I like doing so many different things. And that's probably going to be reflective in the Christmas presents that I show you. So first of all, I don't really have themes this year. Last year, I think I kind of categorised things. We're not being that organised. Let's just start with something. Now, this may seem extremely random, but when I got it, I was very happy. I feel I need to make a video about this in future. Again, it is off topic. There will be some off topic videos as well this year, but this one would certainly be off topic. Just to put it out there, does anyone agree? Put a comment down below if you loved Frozen 2 as much as Frozen 1. I was so skeptical going into it. I did not think I was going to like it. I was worried they were going to ruin it. I went in, came out, absolutely loved it to the point where I'm now questioning which one is my favourite. But I'm waiting until I see it on DVD to make that decision. John got me this Frozen 2 cupcake set. Now, it is for kids, I'm sure. I definitely made kits similar to this when I was a child. But we all know I am still a child in my mind. So this is going to be amazing. We also know that I'm not very good at baking. Hence why this kit is hopefully going to be a fail-safe way for me to make cute cupcakes, which I'm going to try and make like the box. At the moment I haven't made them yet because there's been too much Christmas food around. So we move from a very small item. Well, actually I was gonna show you my largest item. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna build up the suspense, okay? We're just gonna build that up for a while and then I'll show it to you. Let's move on to another one of my pop culture favorites, which is new-ish. Last year I watched it, Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things, 11. I'm just obsessed with her almost as much as I'm obsessed with Elsa, almost as obsessed as I am with Professor McGonagall. So it's quite high. Anyway, I got quite a few Stranger Things items this year. One of them being this 11 Funko Pop. Now she is actually the first Funko that I've owned that isn't the Harry Potter one, which is quite cool. So my sister got me this. It is actually the limited edition Chase one. I think she had her eye on getting me the one as you can see here, where she's pretty much bold with the uh, red dribble here. But she actually ended up getting a limited edition one. So Eleven's wearing a wig. It's very cute. And I've sat it right at the top of my bookshelf on two shelves, which are not Harry Potter related. I'm going to have to get a bit faster because I take so long on these videos. OK, next up, a book, a Stranger Things book. I'm just going to do all the Stranger Things stuff at once. So this is actually really good. I think some people have questioned if it is or was going to be a good book, so they haven't picked it up. I'm reading it at the moment. That's how far through I am. I am loving it. It's very interesting and tells the backstory of how Eleven came to be. So it's very, very good. 
and definitely leads on from the program, although it's actually before the program. We also have some white fluff has come off on this because I've worn it under a jumper as well. An 11 t-shirt, are you sensing a theme yet? So this says, in a world of Thames, be an 11. Love the quote. It actually goes with loads of stuff. I've been wearing it with a snake skin print skirt and jeans. So lots of different things. And with some Christmas money, I didn't even know this. I went into Primark and the new Stranger Things range had released. I got this hair bobble, a set of three, love them. So they are from the programme. And this jumper, which is actually one that I'd seen in America, similar one, haven't been able to get. And they had it in Primark for £10. What a dream. And this is the light sequence. Again, won't make sense if you don't watch it, but it's a really comfy jumper. Bought it a bit oversized and I'm obsessed. So what next? Oh, okay. Another thing that I've been loving this Christmas and it is Harry Potter related are some new pajamas that I got from John again. He's very good at choosing things. And these are pajamas that I wouldn't wear to bed because they'll make me way too hot. But I've been lounging around in them, especially when I had a cold over Christmas. They were so comfy. Hufflepuff pajamas. But now I have a winter set. These are the comfiest pajamas I've ever had from there. I don't know how much they were for obvious reasons, but here is the design. So it says Hufflepuff forever. It's actually stitched on. So you're not gonna have problems with like print coming off in the wash, which is ideal. You've also got a very nicely stitched Hufflepuff badger where the design is not questionable. It looks just like the crest. It's fluffy, cozy material. So you get the yellow top and these super comfy bottoms. So they have a checked design. Uh, they do all of the houses, I believe, but I'm not sure if they're in stock now because these were probably bought quite a bit before Christmas. Also, might have to save this for another video, but they came in an amazing box, which I'm using to store some Hufflepuff items now. With Velcro and everything, it's cute, it's adorable. I've just thought of something. I did actually get loads of amazing matching Luna merch from my friend Geek Glitz, aka Mamta for Christmas. I might have to make a separate video about that because I totally forgot because I got it about a week before Christmas. That that was also something I could put in this haul. So look out for that another time. But picture is already on my Instagram. We have a few items left. I'm gonna show you the one that's on my wrist. I got a new Harry Potter charm. You may have already known that I have had and have worn in probably most of my videos a Pandora bracelet for ages. I have lots of different charms on there, but none that are Harry Potter related. And I got a Harry Potter related charm, which is going to be incredibly difficult to show you from here, but it is Hogwarts. And it has stars around the outside. Now on the back, it has a Hogwarts crest. It's highly detailed. There is a lot of detail on here. I have been looking at it a lot and it, yeah, it's really cool because there's like, it's been cut out. There's indentations. I'm really obsessed. I think I've said obsessed like three times in this video. So this is gorgeous. They have lots of different Harry Potter charms in the Pandora collection. They have house charms. What else do they have? Hogwarts Express, Dobby characters, but this is definitely my favorite that I've seen. So we still have the big item left and I'm gonna show you my last Harry Potter item for this video. The Potion Cauldron drinks. Do you remember last year I visited the Shambles, I almost forgot the name then, the Shambles in York. And there was an amazing shop called The Potions Cauldron. They sold these drinks. I bought one at the time, but I really wanted to try them all. So I got these for Christmas and my intention is to make Harry Potter cocktails for a video. They have different flavors. So we have got Basilisk Blood, which should taste like mixed fruits, Unicorn Essence, which is tropical fruits, Serpent's Venom, the Serpent's Venom Lemonade and Tears of a Wizard Cream Soda. I wish my tears taste like cream soda. Absolutely love that drink. And if you turn the bottles upside down, rotate them three times and then tap them five times on the lid, you will see that they swirl. They swirl so magically. Three items left, two of them are books. This is only probably something that people in the UK will understand and I apologise for that. But it is a book of an incredibly funny TV show, This Country. It's even based and filmed in my area. So it's based like probably about 15 minutes away from me in the Cotswolds. It's about 
a couple of probably mid-twenties people who live in a very quiet village. It's comedy, it's rude, but it's hilarious. Inside it's based like it's written by the characters. So they have little post-it notes and things that they talk about in the show. It's a great read. I would recommend it if you have watched this programme. Okay, second to last item, we have Julie Andrews autobiography. I haven't actually seen Julie Andrews in lots of stuff, but she is someone who is like a Hollywood legend. And I was so interested in reading an autobiography about her life in Hollywood. I've of course seen Mary Poppins. I've seen The Princess Diaries. I've seen her in lots of different things. And because I love autobiographies, this one really stood out to me. So it's gonna be an interesting read and I'm gonna get reading it as soon as I finished my Stranger Things book. I've also just realized that I totally told you before you'd even clicked on the video what the best item was because it's in the thumbnail. But anyway, it won't be much of a surprise to you all that I got a Nintendo Switch. I had a Nintendo Wii when I was younger. I've got a 3DS still. I have had potentially another one as well, but I saw this and after I got back into playing 3DS games like later last year, I just suddenly really wanted this and I wasn't sure if it was like a you know when you just see something and want it and it's and you don't know if you genuinely will use it a lot or not so I didn't impulse buy I thought about it and I was encouraged to wait until Christmas and I continued to kind of monitor if I definitely wanted it or not but I got really back into gaming I was playing so much by the end of last year and I love the concept of this I did think before I put it on my list and essentially, I'm sure you all know how this works, I don't really need to explain it to you, but you can play it like a 3DS on the go. You can take these off magically, play two player with somebody in the room. So me and John have been able to play local multiplayer, which is something that most games consoles of this generation lack. And something when I was growing up, you could do with pretty much any game. So that is a joy. And this is a Joy-Con, interesting. So you can play it like that. You can play it in tabletop mode where you actually got the screen separate to these and that's another amazing way to play. Or you can dock it and play it on the TV. I don't need to sell you this. It's a great piece of technology and I am so, well, I was gonna say I'm excited to play it. I put loads of hours into this. I pretty much haven't put it down since Christmas. The games I've been playing are Mario Kart. I used to have Mario Kart on my Wii and I've had it on my 3DS. It's a safe bet with me. It's a great game to play. I can easily get back into it. I put over 30 hours into that already and I've been completing the different levels on there. I've also got Mario Tennis, which I got for Christmas. Haven't dabbled much in that, but it looks fun. And you can play it a bit like the Wii again with the motion controls. And finally, I bought myself a game called Overcooked, which is a fast paced restaurant game. Very fun, quite hilarious to play with other people. I know quite a few of you guys have probably got this. I might have to make a video in future about my Switch because it's already become quite a big part of my life. I'm not afraid to say it. And for my birthday, I probably won't be able to do much of a haul video because I've asked for like one game so far, Luigi's Mansion, which I really hope I get. Last part of this one is the case. And I got a Luigi case because he is my favorite character. So I'm going to use that to keep my switch in. I've already been taking it around with me. It'd be perfect for when I go on trips. And that's it. That is my Christmas haul. I've definitely been spoiled this year. I feel very, 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 very fortunate for all the things I've got. I would love to know in the comments down below what item you got for Christmas, which was your favorite, what you might ask for in future, just anything about your hobbies and interests and things you maybe got at Christmas. And I also really hope you had an amazing time. Let me know as well, because apparently I want you to let me know a lot of stuff, what kind of videos you would like to see from me this year. I have lots of ideas, but I'm always open to more. So do drop me a comment. And I am going to see you guys very, very soon. I think, I say I think, because it isn't filmed yet. A magical unboxing is on the way. It's here, ready. I can't wait to share it with you. See you very soon, Potter Puffs. Bye. Thank you.